So to create the tooltip, let's first create the tooltip here outside the SVG. So um, if I have tooltip data, do something. If not, return null. And then here I'm going to return tooltip with bounds. And it's actually not self-closing. It has something inside. And then here, something. And then here I need to add some props. So key, you remember the trick is math.random. And then the top is tooltip top. And the uh, left is tooltip, tooltip left. And then the style is tooltip styles. Uh, cool. So now I have something to show, but I can't, like, I can't add a event listener to the line itself because imagine having to pass the mouse exactly on that point to have your data shown on the tooltip. What I need to do then is I'm going to create a bar that um, covers this whole thing, this whole container. And on this bar is going to have an event listener that is going to get the X position and then the Y position. And then it's going to pretend that it's showing on top of the line, but it's, it's not, it's just a fake bar on top is a transparent one. Cool. So to do that, I'm going to create another group here that is going to have the bar. Uh, and the bar is going to be imported from the shape and the width is going to be the whole thing. So width is width and the height is height. The fill is transparent because remember, we don't want to show that. And then we have on mouse move and we have on mouse leave that just hides the tooltip. Um, the magic happens here. So the event is a parameter and this event has to be typed. So it's a touch event imported from react that's going to have SVG rect element or a mouse event that is going to have an SVG rect element. And then this one is going to, um, I'm going to get the X from the local point, just X um, for now local point and pass the event to it. So now I have the X and the first value of the X is I need to get the value from it. So I, I can invert um, the position into the scale and get the value from it. So const X zero is actually X dot invert X. And then there's a thing called bisect data. I need to import it from the D3 array. Bisect. Yeah. And it gets the index of that thing. And then it returns with the values that are from there. So I'm going to create the index is bisect. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Um, this data here is not being accepted. Um, cool. Um, that is because I need to create a bisector. So yeah, bisector. And the bisector in this case is bisector bisect. And is a generic so data data and get y that get x value i did everything wrong this one is by sector 
and then I need a bisect and then here is bisector and here is literally bisect and now um, cool so oh it's data point yeah and then get x value oh it's data point and date here right and then yeah i think that then everything goes well yeah oh yeah i have to get to the left part yeah um, my bad then it works don't it okay so here is or x zero then to invert that um I don't invert the X, I invert the X is scale. I uh, knew that something was wrong there. And on mouse leave is like this. Oh my God, why did that? Why did I do right on this one? Uh, cool, so I have the index now. I have the D0, that is data index minus one from the left and D1. So it gets two values, one for each side and it sees primary is closer and then it goes to that one so it's like this and then let um, d is equals d0 but if d1 and uh, get x value from d1 uh, if that exists so it's on the if the on the extreme right um, it doesn't run this one d equals to x zero value of i get the value of it um minus yeah this whole thing yeah that's exactly it this is very common and very boilerplate -y. so basically sometimes you're gonna copy and paste this but basically what it's doing is getting the values and seeing if it can put it on the right or not okay so after that i can show tooltip with tooltip data being d tooltip left being actually tooltip left is just x and the tooltip top is exactly this i don't need even the it to be or zero because i already did it on the top so this should be it so it shows like right there on top of everything it's not working properly let's see why so i'm getting the x local point for the event i'm getting the invert one i'm bisecting date from the left um let's call it bisect date so I'm getting the date from the this one and date uh, that one is one da, da, the zero x and the one if they both exist then I'm getting exactly this and I'm gonna show the tooltip right there x scale and the scale in here to tip left and to tip top oh yeah i know why um, on this container the position has to be relative otherwise uh the positioning of this these things is not gonna work properly because it's a position absolute so now we need to add data to it and i'm i, I want to when i hover over it i want to see where it's getting the data from so to do that i'm going to create a circle on this one so another one that tooltip data or null and then here i want to create a group 
and on this group i'm gonna have a line that is actually a line not a line path and this one is gonna have from x to tip left by zero exactly to to tip left height height exactly stroke no stroke is gonna be different so it's five nine five eight eight d and the stroke width i don't know i think it is one it is better uh pointer events this is important uh it's literally none and then stroke dash array is five five let's see yep it goes exactly where i wanted now let's go to the circle i'm gonna create one in the middle and then one bigger so it kind of gives you the uh the feeling of like uh posing but it's actually not so circle and then cx is the yeah it fills the whole thing here is our eight and the fill here is actually ff for the ca and the stroke is nothing nothing and nothing um fill opacity of this one is half and the yeah pointer event is none then this is the one that is bigger and then i'm going to create one that is smaller here and with the r4 and stroke opacity of like that and yeah you see that it goes exactly to the point where it gets the data so that's really cool now the last thing is to add two tip data i'm going to create a formatter here formatter it's equal to neil intel daytime oh that's exactly it no so yeah i don't want to i, I want to actually format um number format and then what us and then style currency and currency being usd and then here what i want to show is um time format from the three format this one is percentage d b percentage d and percentage h percentage m and then the second one is the actual time so new date get x value from the tooltip data cool and then this one after that i want to have a bold so this is b and then formatter dot format get y value from tooltip data yeah i think that's it um yeah now you have a cool looking thing so i'm gonna close this one uh and it works gives you the date the hour and the time of the prices so now you know that the peak price for this day was sixty three thousand nine hundred and seventeen forty three cents and the minimum was yeah around fifty eight hundred uh, 58,000 so cool that's it so I think that with this information and with these uh, videos you actually learned something and I hope you did now you can create a portfolio with your favorite data visualizations a bar chart line charts I didn't create anything too fancy here because that's actually just to teach you how to create charts simple charts with this X and that's it that's the end of the course i hope you liked it if you did subscribe to the channel 
uh, give me a thumbs up and that's it see you next time bye bye